Arcade is designed for architects by architects, whereas Tecla is designed for structural engineers. This workflow connects the two disciplines to work, collaborate, and share information as well as stakeholders or members of the team involved in the project. You may wonder why Tecla. This video has everything to answer this question. Tecla structures like Archicad is a powerful structural beam software that creates, combines, manages, shares information that is rich and accurate 3D models that bring efficiencies to every phase of the construction project. Tecla is a triple software for structural engineering and construction. Yes, it is one of the most advanced structural 3D modeling beam software in construction industry. Before we get into the features and demonstration of the arcade to Tecla workflow, let us take a look at what it has to offer. Did I force you to subscribe to this channel already? Make certain to do so if you want to take your architecture and design construction technology to new heights. Tecla Structures can create and design a full detailed 3D model of a steel or concrete structures with cutting edge features and functionality for creating, analyzing and changing model based information. The first feature to look at is you can streamline workflow and work more efficiently. It enables the creation, integration, management and sharing of multi-material 3D models that contains useful construction data. Tecla structures can be used for design, detailing, and information management throughout the entire project, from building and infrastructure conceptualization to fabrication, construction, and maintenance. Another feature is they provide a 3D accurate model that contains all of your structural data. It allows you to create precise and information-rich 3D models that contain all of your structural data required to build and maintain any type of a structure. Its model can deliver up to 500 LOD, the highest level of development possible, making them truly constructable. High LOD and S-built models reduce costly surprises and RFIs or requests for information, resulting in more profitable projects. You can also import and export or link your data in other software solutions such as Arcade to Tecla Workflow for example, digital construction tools and fabrication machinery for smoother workflows. Tecla Structures is also localized to meet the standards of your local construction industry. The software is available in 17 languages and includes 32 environments with predefined region specific settings and information. Because the BIM software is easy to learn, it requires a license to use. They have several license options to choose from. Whether you need Tecla structures for business, education, or collaboration, you'll find a license that meets your requirement. It allows you to model any type of structure made of any material, as well as multiple materials in one model. In this section, we define the workflow for exchanging architectural and structural models between Arcade and Tecla structures. This is possible for Arcade version 15 or later, guys. The model-based AFC data exchange format is used, which is an open beam collaboration that is done primarily with an IFC file format. What does IFC stand for? Issued for construction, maybe? <laughs> AFC is an abbreviation for Industry Foundation Class, a common data exchange standard in the construction industry or allow information sharing regardless of the software application used. Data is used throughout a building life cycle, is saved and can be reused. As you know guys, in modern construction, data is critical for delivering and operating complex structures that we have never seen before. Let's go to the demonstration of this workflow. Step number one, we're going to um, uh, export the model from Archicad to the Tecla, which is using an IFC format uh, file. Let's start with the architectural model. The first model is created by architects based on their client's request and the given site. When creating architectural model, Keep in mind that you'll be sharing it with a structural engineer. That's always the case. That's always the routine for architectural 
practice, use articulate classification options to distinguish load bearing elements. Place elements on a special layers and uh, define the initial profile and materials of elements such as steel bar, column and beam elements. If you prepare your architectural model in this manner, all you have to do when exporting it to IFC is to apply a few filters. Furthermore, among the export options, you can select export all visible elements, which is another way to filter the elements for export. For example, use a get partial structure display function to display and export only the cores of composite elements or use model view options to display and uh, export the opening only without frame details and other unnecessary data. You, you know what I mean, you can play around, even layers also can play uh, the role. Archicad includes a built-in translator with settings op optimized for exporting models to textless structures via IFC. The translator's name is Data Exchange with Tegla Structures. It's there on the file formats for Archicad. Of course, you are free to create and fine-tune your custom translator based on your specific requirements. Other ways to filter elements during the export process includes by element visibility in the view from which the export is launched, by current element selection, by the story, for example, ground floor only, you can also opt to export maybe the foundation only depends by element type also is another option columns and beams only for example by structural function load bearing or non-load bearing elements so it's also an option alternatively you can export the entire project uh, or building without filtering the translator's default filtering rules can also be fine-tuned or modified manually during the export process. You can also use the structural function classification to filter elements for export from Archicad. When importing a model from Tecla Structures, however, you should not use this filter. The all element settings is recommended instead because Tecla does not distinguish between a load bearing and non load bearing elements when exporting them, unlike Archicad. You can configure Tegla structures to export only the important visible elements you want to share with the structural engineer and then use Publisher to export all of these view sets as an IFC models with a single click if you want to be advanced or specific in your filtering. Second step is to import the model into the Tegla structures. Engineers receive the model from the architect and insert it into a Tecla Structures project as a protected reference. They have the option of importing the entire architectural model or just the elements on a specific architectural layers. As a result, the structural engineer can further filter the model as needed. The second step, which is Tecla Structural Model Export. Once the engineer is done with his uh, analysis and structural work, an IFC file can be used to export the structural model or filtered portion of it back to Archicad. This table summarizes the most important Tegla structures elements and illustrates how to import a highly detailed structural model into Archicad. The fourth step is to import the structural model back again into Archicad. You can merge or link the structural model or a portion of it back into your active Archicad project using the import method you chose. For Tegla structures, we recommend using the default IFC translator set, the same translator you used for export before. Customized translator and filtering settings are also available. When importing a model from Tegla structures, you should not filter elements by structural functions because, like I said, Tegla does not differentiate between loading and non loading bearing elements in its model export. It does not support the load bearing IFC property. As a result, all elements option is the data exchange with Tegla Structures Translator is recommended and by default it will have model element filter setting. Using Archicad special visualization technique, structural elements can display alongside the architectural model. Using the graphic override combination tool, for example, you can visually compare the current model and the structural content. 
engineers and architects can repeat the above mentioned model exchange comparisons and updates in subsequent cycles. Finally, the two disciplines create their own or collaborate on documentation. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for notification of a new upload. If you are also interested in learning architect and Tecla Strategies workflow as a designer, let me know in the comment section. We start making tutorials about this topic. Thank you.